good day YouTube, JD here. A number of things are going to be changing here on the Pagan Perspective, so starting uh, with one of the changes being me being a regular Wednesday host. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this week's question. This week's question deals with first and foremost being um, someone who's having trouble grounding, um, someone who's having trouble connecting to nature. The third thing would be uh, this same person is having trouble just with nature in general because they tend to gravitate more toward the winter and the fall. For grounding, there's so many different ways to ground. First two hosts kind of explained pretty well different types of grounding. I guess the only thing I would add to that is that there's, there's some other ways to ground. You can kind of get into a little, little bit of um, either visualization work or some kind of uh, guided meditation. If you're the type of person where you like to listen to things, listen to music, or any type of sound in general, you may do well to uh, find some kind of guided meditation where you kind of put on headphones and you use that to ground. If you're more of a visual person, you might be able to uh, benefit from some type of actual meditation that doesn't have, doesn't really rely heavily on sound. So you can actually use a meditation script, go through that's designed for grounding, read it, memorize it, and then kind of loosely go in and go from and go from memory to try to go ahead and, and pull off that 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 actual grounding session. As far as feeling feeling the grounding and the result of it, I normally ground when I know I build up a lot of energy. Usually, you what I would feel is the actual draining of the energy or feeling better, or having the energy go away and feeling better. So that's the way I feel it. You can actually use stones to ground. There's certain stones that have different properties that I like to ground better than say some others would. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe one of those stones would be tiger's eye. Of course, there's a whole process on how you would cleanse the stone, you would get the stone ready, but I believe tiger's eye will be a good one. You can get that with like a necklace or some kind of tumbled polished stone that you would carry around inside of, inside of your pocket. As far as connecting with nature and feeling that um, nature is not really there for you, I feel like the way that we connect with nature is basically by use of our senses. You mentioned that you like the fall and the winter because of your allergies and things of that nature. I, I would say that if, if you basically, basically go outside and you can feel the cold air against your skin, you can feel actual dryness of the air, that is nature. That you're actually interfacing with nature. I believe you have to connect the mental part and just know in your mind that you are actually connected to nature by experiencing that sensation of the dryness, of the coldness. Um, and as far as connecting to nature, you can also call out to whatever you may use. If you're the type of pagan who has a deity that you use or you work with from time to time, you can actually call out to that deity while you're in nature say outside at a park or somewhere during the winter you can call out to that deity and just ask for assistance in connecting and you might be surprised with the results that you get you can create thought forms to assist you with this if you don't want to work with deities so if your path allows you to work with servitors or thought forms you can actually create one of those or several of them um, I, I use a team of them for different things you could use them to not only uh, connect with nature you can use that to also a ground as well. You, you can basically create a type of hunger for excess energy and you can call out to this servitor or thought form to remove this energy from you at will. And for connecting with nature as far as um, having a green thumb, I know you mentioned that in, that in your question where you wanted to basically create a garden of some sort. Um, if you're having allergies and you know that you can't deal with like a plant, you might want to do some research on finding which plants that you can grow in your home or ones that don't really kick up your allergies that bad and use that one. Um, I know that there are a number of trees that can live, like evergreens. It may be possible that you can get a small evergreen um, and being that it is one of those trees that doesn't really have that much pollen, you might be able to get away with having one outside or in your backyard or finding a small one like a bonsai and, and using, using that one. You can kind of use a combination of thought forms or servitors to help you um, connect with it as well. You, you can also just try speaking to the tree, especially at evergreen, and seeing if you get anything back. I think if you use a combination of those, you, you may wound up with some pretty good results. 
a lot of this is just kind of experimenting and using and trying to trying to find out what actually works uh, my personal favorite tree would be a pine tree I use it a lot in my visualizations I love the smell um, it's a pretty potent thing for me a pine tree so you may want to try that depending on if you have allergies with that and I believe that covers all of it so with that being said thank you for watching the pagan perspective thank you and blessed be